Hello everyone. Now we begin with the part one. That is the MCQ part for the grade nine advance. The first question is to translate equations into sentences. Now, how does this work is very simple. Look at this equation. Read it out. What is there? It is J plus 16, the number 16, which is equal to 35. That is it. That is the answer. But since this is in the MCQ, the question number one MCQ part, you will have four options. You need to select the most accurate option. Now, there is a trick for this. What happens is you need to look into the terms which are very close to this in the sense, sorry, the, the operations, not close or anything, the operation symbols. These are very important. What is this plus equal to? So from this, you need to know a few things. J plus 16, that means it will be the sum or plus or addition. Whereas this is equal to or is or is same as something like that. And this is just a J, the sum of J and 16. This is correct. Now I will write one more answer. J added to 16. This is also possible. J added means plus 16 is same as 35. 35. So this is also correct, but it depends on which option you have. So all these are correct answer like this is correct or you can just tell J plus 16 just look into each and every option all the four options look which closely matches to the given question and then finalize your answer. Same way over here the product of 4 and M is 52. Now one sentence that represents this is the sum of yeah this is one sample answer because there are many answers over here many possible answers. Now here. 4 times m is equal to 52. This is one possible answer. There can be other answers as well. Now we can look over here. There is the product of 7. Uh, now, whenever there are brackets, you can sometimes see uh, the quantity. Now it depends, you know. It doesn't require all the time the quantity. You can tell the quantity of p plus 23 times 7 or 7 times the quantity of p plus seven, 23 is equal to 102. I'm not sure what is the answer. Let's just check. Over here, there is no quantity, but it's fine. They have just told 7 times the sum of p plus 23 is same as 102. Now, this, you just need to do these by yourselves. Look into all the problems. Try understanding them and try telling out any answer because there are so many correct answers for this, okay? Now here, the square, okay, now since it's minus, you can tell if you're starting with R square, the square of R minus 15 or the square of R uh, subtracted by will always be, you know, uh, yeah, you can tell subtracted by 15, subtracted is minus. Now here they are telling less than, now, in this case, you must tell 15 is less than R square, the square of R. Okay, when you're using less than what? 15 is less than, minus means less than what? R square equals the sum of T and 13. This is the thing. Same way you can see the other problems. Now, we hear there is fraction, but doesn't matter. It's very straightforward and easy. It's just write the fraction, two-fifths. Now, generally, they will give you in two-fifth, three-fourth, two-thirds, or one-third. That's how they ask you. You can write uh, the division of two by five, but it won't be generally, you know, appropriate. It's not appropriate to tell two divided by five multiplied by V. No, it would be just two-fifths, okay? Two-fifths of V plus three-fourths of what? Three-fourths is... Two thirds of x squared. So this is the answer. Just read the sentence. Over here, one thirds minus four fifths of z is equal to four fifths of y cubed. So this is the thing. Oh, you can see each. This is is minus this term. 
So they have appropriately given, you can see over here, this term, this term, it's clearly mentioned, okay? Now this is very simple, g plus 10 is same as 3, okay, it's 3g, it should be 3 and g over here, which is missing, I apologize for that, it's 3 times g. Now this one, they have just, uh, you know, uh, you can see this, there are so many methods, now this is one of the simpler method, or you can tell the sum of g plus 10 is equal to 3 multiplied with g or 3 times g, or the product of 3g, 3 and g, so, so many things, okay, please make sure you read them by yourself, you can see all the answers, read them by yourself and uh, understand that. Here, look over here, the quantity is mentioned. Quantity generally is mentioned only for brackets, not otherwise, okay? Two times the quantity of T plus 4Q is equal to two times Q plus four times T. And what else we got over here? It's four times the quantity, I guess. No, they have just told some. It's fine, even you can tell quantity of A plus B or sum of A plus B is nine times A. Here, or, uh, here as well, now here the quantity is used. Fine. So it's not about knowing how to answer. It's about getting the right answer from the option here. Because obviously you can write it. If it was in writing, you can easily write correct answer. But please make sure you read all the four options and match them. I'm sure what happened, uh, you know, most probably what happened, what will happen is in the answer, in the options, here, instead of minus, it'll be maybe plus or product. Here, instead of quantity, uh, uh, plus, they would have given something else. Now, instead of half, they would have given a quarter. So, these would be the differences in options. So, please carefully read all the four options and see. Here, 1 by 2, you can write half. 1 by 2 is told as half. 1 fourth is quarter. Or you can, uh, uh, so, 1 by 2 or half, the sum of, f plus y equals f minus 5 and here k squared minus k squared minus n squared is 2 times b or twice b that's the same thing twice means 2 times that's the answers and that's about the first question question number one please try to understand the operations that is plus minus division multiplication and look into all the four options and then uh, select the correct answer